Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mother Try Hard's podcast. My name is Google and I am joined by Pokey Plays and Genie Brovo. Now you two fuckers stop slacking and get on with the podcast. Fuck you, Google. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the Try Hard's podcast. <laughs> I'm Genie Brovo. And I'm Pokey Plays. Uh, today we have a very special episode. Yes, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. It's pretty normal. We have an otaku box. We do have an otaku box. However, right. we did in the last one, too. Yeah, that's true. It's been a while. But before um, we open I'm it, Shrek. <laughs> and uh, I'm Pokey Plays, and I just remembered something. Yeah. That's gone. Ah, uh, yay. It's the Dark Humor book. We are never prepared. No, I'm we're not. I hope you guys don't. I'm peeking really badly. Holy it shit. doesn't matter. Yeah. So... Um, I guess we'll start with the Otaku Box? I uh, know, we're starting with the Dark Humor reading like normal. Uh, yeah, yeah. And also, thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring us. I'm sorry, dude, us. it's been way too long. Uh, thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring us. If you want to get started on your own podcast, uh, go to anchor.fm and get started there. Yep, you've got all the tools you need, including the Timeline tool, which is the tool I forgot the name of last time. Yeah. Hey, Google, roll a D17. You rolled 15. Prostitute jokes. Oh, yay. It's been a while since we've done a prostitute joke. It's been a while since we've done a prostitute. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I quote that? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the podcast. I don't care. All right. Uh, I guess you can pick a number one through three. Two. A husky foreigner looking for sex accepted it in prostitute terms. When she undressed, he noticed that she had no pubic hair. The man, the, the man shouted, Why no wool? In my country, all women have wool down there. The prostitute snapped back, What do you want to do? Knit or fuck? <laughs> That's funny. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's really actually good pretty one. good. Alright, we're going to leave that one be because we right. read like five last time. Yeah, dude, we couldn't find a single good joke Yeah, last we had time. some pretty bad ones. That's because we went on the lawyer Reddit. Yeah, for real. Um, I would like to announce that Essinger, uh, give him that lovely shout out and also let you guys know that he will have a new song coming out on Wednesday. Yay. Tana Briss comes out on Wednesday. And no, that was not synced. That's why we just opened our water bottles and drank it at the same time. I do want to mention these people, though, because uh, so these people are called Pathwater. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, most people don't like, you know, what bottled water companies. Yeah. But these people have done something that I really like about their bottles. So their bottles, unlike normal bottles, are made of metal. Yeah. Um, keep your drinks really nice and cool. I actually use, I have two of these for work. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we were looking into getting a affiliate from them or something uh, from them just because we're we just wanted to see how it worked how but because we out. don't really promote um on our podcast uh well-being of wildlife and environment now granted um, we do advocate for it we, we do, do advocate I, I would like for this planet to live for forever yeah, for real but we don't our podcast doesn't help the environment in any way shape or form yeah um but because of that they were not willing to do it however that's fine because um, um, I still wanted to, I wanted to use them as a way to just let everybody know about them. And anyway, because yeah, any company that makes a bottle that is actually you know made for reusing like this, mm -hmm. and they're like a buck fifty right now. Like we got them for like no, it was two bucks. Yeah, two we bucks got them. Sheets. We got two of them like thirty, forty five minutes ago for like five bucks. And it comes pre filled with water. To start off with yeah, and it's electrolyte as well. Um, it's got electrolyte and uh, a couple pH balanced. It's got some taste in it. Um, and it's actually like, it's generally just a really good bottle. Yeah. Um, after you get done drinking out of it, instead of tossing them out, you just refill it with cold water, stick it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Um, do not use hot water in it. Um, they do have a warning on here that say this is a single wall, uh, BPA free aluminum bottle that is designed for cold liquids. Do not put it in the microwave, cook inside of it, freeze or use combustible liquids. Meaning don't put gasoline inside here. Yeah. Please don't. Listen but to the warnings. But being that you and I record for a podcast a lot. I'm not going to ask why you just had it's a cold. seizure there. It's cold. Um, me and that you and I record a lot, and it takes a while, usually about an hour. Yeah. Um, we wanted to have a way to drink water that was cold. Because yeah. Because we've always drank, like, lukewarm water during the And podcast. then it gets, like, hot because we can't use a fan in here while we're recording because he's sitting right next to the fan. It's right here. Um, but, yeah. And then, of course, I would like to let everyone know that Paprika Studios is back on uh, social media. Um, she's back to using her normal stuff. And 
We have a bunch of new artist shoutouts, don't we? Yeah, we do. They're actually behind me, but I forgot about my slippers. Yeah, he's wearing socks again. Actually, I could show these ones because these ones are nice and green. Okay, they're not dirty white. Yeah, they're nice and green. I like these ones. Nice and green. But I like wearing my slippers because it makes me look weird. <laughs> it makes you look but extra. Actually, I'm just going to shout out one of the artists whenever the time comes for that. Yeah. But um, I did want to put path water in the thing yeah. because uh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Um. And also one more thing before uh, we do the lovely otaku box. Uh, you and I had a birthday pass between podcasts. Yeah, so your birthday was September 27th. The day after the convention. The day after our Comic-Con convention, which we um, will talk I know about. that podcast came out last week, but we were late to releasing it. That was yeah, my fault. Yeah, um, he had realized that uh, he had never released the podcast the week it was supposed to be released. So, yay. Uh, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> so, Yeah. And then, uh, so for my birthday, we just did a fish fry. Yeah. Played Super Smash Brothers. Pretty general stuff. Yeah. For yours, um, did a cookout. Yeah. Flood drones. Mm-hmm. Um, had a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, yeah. I got to see Edwin again. Yeah. Um, he really, he was honestly uh, not Pretty as calm. big of, yeah, he's a, when it comes to stuff like that, he doesn't really tend to be major crackhead, but when it's just me and him, it's always crackhead. I'm getting a phone call. I'm not going to answer that. From who? I don't know. Their podcast, their name is unknown. Their oh, podcast is unknown. Their podcast is unknown because they don't listen to the Tryhards no, podcast. I'm not answering them. No. Um, but uh, I don't really know what else to just talk say, about. Just say we, we had our birthday. I'm, I'm not 20. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm not going to give out your Hello, age. Hello, old fart. Yeah, I'm an old fart. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So, One more uh, year and you can start drinking alcohol. I was just say this doesn't have any in here. No, it doesn't. It just has the path of water. Yeah, it's just water. Don't demonetize us, even though we don't have monetization. Don't age restrict us. Which you know, I do want to. You know, already. now that you've been that up, I do want to bring this up before we do the, the talkie box. So, we will go ahead and say this podcast is something that we started as a hobby. Yeah. However, we do make money off of it. Mm-hmm. Um. Thank you, Anchor. Yeah, Anchor. Our Anchor sponsorship is an actual sponsorship. We do make money off of that. Um, for you guys listening to the audio podcast. Um, if you're listening to this on YouTube. Don't feel like, you know, you're obligated to do this or something, but just put on our audio podcast in the background or something or something like that, or, like, just listen to our audio podcast at some point. Um, take a listen to it, because, honestly, that's just how we keep going. Yeah, and, uh, d- again, it's not, it's not we're forcing you, we're like, go listen to our audio podcast. No, if you really do want to support us, listen to our audio podcast. Because, while the video podcast, whenever it does comes to the Otaku Box, of course, we want to have that available. Yeah. Um, but with the audio podcast, we can, you know, we get we get the sponsorships and all that. Yeah, and um, at the same time, we also, also again, little shout out, uh, join our Discord server as well because we post the Otaku Box images on there. If you don't even want to look at the video for that, you just want to see the what the they Otaku look like. Box of August actually got posted in there today. Yeah. Um, so August was last month's pod, man, not last month. We're actually opening September's this week. Yeah, the September pod, uh, September uh, Otaka box. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, do you want to pull that up on your lap and get that over here? Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. There you go. There you go. Right. Let's open this up. All right. I see. St- I see stickers. I see. A th- I see three M stuff. I see stickers. I see stickers. Oh, oh, it's another patch. Let's go. Another time I got reincarnated as a slime patch. Nice. You, I think you still have the other one. I do. Um, it's sitting up there somewhere. Yeah. Actually, I think it's in one of these boxes over here. Possibly. In case you don't know, all the Otaki boxes like sit here. Yeah. Um, but I, I want you. What is that what is sticker? Because that's that is really cool. I have never seen this. Um, it's just a really cute anime female. Sticker. Oh, we hit six months. This is our six we months did box hit six and months. our September box. But yeah. All right. Moment of truth. What we got here? Moment of truth. What you got? What we got? Oh my gosh, I gotta go change shirts. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! We got Kaneko. We got Kaneko! Dude, that's so cute! I We got Kaneko. I like that. I like that. So, instead of changing shirts, as we said last time on the podcast, if Kaneko won, we would wear it to a... Convention. A convention. However, last we were saying that last a uh, month ago, and the next one we were going to go to was Hickory Comic Con, which we're talking about today. Um, um, Hickory Comic Con was the twenty sixth. Yeah. The box just came today. 
Yeah. Um, but, um... And for those of you who want to know, this is recorded on October 10th. Yeah. But we're going to a convention next weekend. Yes, we are. So. So he will be wearing that. The lovely shirt will be worn that. Oh, God. I see that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I want to have you do the honors of opening that, sir. Oh, God. That um, is uh, very skimpy. Well, then again, it's high school DXD. That? That's high school DXD, so. Yeah. I doubt it. Um, that will be on the NSFW page in our uh, Discord. Did they just throw in like some of the older stuff? Because there's like I the chopsticks in here too. I think so. Yeah, this is the shirt. This okay. is the shirt. Well, here. Let's, uh, I'll read this out. Okay. Hi, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Six months in a row. You are now a VIP subscriber, and to celebrate, I've given you a bonus item this month. Seems like more than one. Because yeah. we've got the time I got reincarnated as a slime and chopsticks again. Yeah. We will see what the bonus item is. The chopsticks. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. <laughs> yeah, for real. But yeah, we got some more fairy tale chopsticks. Yeah, which is I mean, nice. We can start using these actually at some point. Yeah, here. We've I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want to... Accidentally show it to the camera. Yeah. What is... Oh, it's Todoroki! It's a little uh, Todoroki <laughs> thing. So... It's squishy. It's squishy. Oh, it's like a little stress ball. So, this is a little Todoroki uh, stress ball. I like that. You got pop sockets. I haven't watched My Hero Academia in forever. Are so. these pop sockets? Did you really? Do we really get pop sockets? Are these pop sockets? They're pop socket covers. <gasps> Ew, that's cool. I think one of them actually has the socket on there. Yep. Oh, that's neat. So, we've got a pop socket for... I've actually been thinking about getting pop sockets. We've got socket. one for Riaz, and the covers that we've got are Rem. Mm-hmm. That's probably the one I'm going to use. Raftalia. Yes. And Asuna. From Sword Art Online. From Sword Art Online. All right. That's pretty that's cool, actually. actually. pretty cool. So. That twin. That's heavy. That that's scares heavy. me. So here we have a little otaku box pouch. What is in here? This is actually a really cool pouch. Yeah, it's uh, like what I use for headphones. Oh, my gosh. What? It's a Sword Art Online little USB thing. Oh! It's Kirito's swords. What? 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 I'm confused. Is it literally just a USB-C cable? What? Why? Why? Oh, it's retractable. Oh! Actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. But how do you... I kind of like that. I've got a wrench here. I kind of like that. Cable's nice. Yeah? USB-C? Hold up. It has and lightning? lightning. USB-C and lightning. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So that's going in my car. Yes. Okay. All right. You we do are going to open the figure on here. Yeah. You do the next item. All right. So the next item, I'm going to go ahead and get this back in there, because that's a nice pouch, too. That I like is. That. I like the pouch. Oh, yeah. We didn't show this. Um, yeah, we did. This weird thing. Yeah, Todoroki from My Hero Academia. You know, everybody knows it's My Hero Academia. really so. squishy, feel it. Yeah, I, I like it. Right. I guess I'll look at the waifu card nice. next. Okay. So this is Kama, who is waifu number nine, from Fate Grand Order. I am Kama, the god of love. However, I think it would be best if you did not consult me about love, you know? Ah. Maybe I wanted to. Maybe I want some advice. Kama is the Assassin's Class servant and limited servant of the Takugawa Labyrinth event. While serving in, as the event's main antagonist, it is later revealed that she has another identity known as Mara, Kara's other half at the end of the labyrinth. Hmm. So here we have the Otaku Box exclusive button. Um, it's very skimpy, so I don't know if I'm able to show this. You can. That? Are you able to show that? Yeah, we'd be fine. We'd be fine? Okay. But yeah, um, you can't really see it because of the glare. However, it's Be nice. On the Discord? You'll see that on the Discord. Um, um, I was going to say, if you want to open this, I will read that out. Okay. Yeah. So Voting for next month has already concluded. Yeah. So, this month's salute. You get the uh, prize figure of Riaz from High School DXD. You get a My Hero Academia plushie, the Todoroki. Um, okay, for the High School DXD. Yes, this is my favorite Riaz figure to date. 
I love that she's standing, and you can see her wings so clearly. I know that many of you are more distracted by her opies, but I love girls' wings. Girls' wings in animes. Uh, she is wearing a very revealing outfit with thigh-high boots. No wonder she is such a fan favorite. Hope you love her, and I can't wait to bring you more fun figures. Alright, My Hero Academia plushie. This is one of my go-to items right now because I use mine as a stress ball. I smash it, I stomp it, and when I have days that are just too much, I can only imagine what All Might would do to one of these. Would it explode? I hope you get some stress relief with these smashable MHA plushies. It's pretty cool. VIP item. Uh, die cut sticker. Um, it says, Erivacel Van Ennisburn? Die cut sticker? Is that this? Yeah. Okay, so this is from Fate Zero, it looks like. I need to get, or I one of like the I, Fate animes. I feel like I need to get into the Fate stuff, That's because honestly, cool. they've shit so much of it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. There's your lovely Riaz. Yay. She'll be posted at the, yeah. the Discord, probably under the Not Safe for Work tag. So. It is very detailed. Yeah. Um, the various popular waifus phone holder. This is exciting. I absolutely love my waifu. Did you phone just say holder. exciting? Exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. I absolutely love my waifu phone holder. And I want to give you guys the same joy. With this, you can pick your favorite. As I included Riaz, Rem, Asuna, and Raftalia. Some days I'm feeling like Riaz. Other, like an Asuna. Enjoy. Sora Online Portable USB Charger. I use USB chargers frequently. This charger features... <laughs> features... <laughs> The two uh, swords used by Kirito, um, Ecludiator and Dark Repul- uh, yeah, Repulsor. I don't know how to pronounce the names in Sword Art Online. I haven't watched it in years. Um, and a famous quote gives him the strength to keep going. This is how I feel when my phone battery is going down to 1%. You will survive, phone! With this charger, you won't be in that position. Otago Box Exclusives! This month's artwork winner is Kaneko from High School DxD. Uh, I, don't, I didn't think anyone was surprised to see Kaneko win the vote. In High School DxD, Kaneko is the only girl that actually re I have no clue what that word means. Rebukes uh, Issei. I don't know how to pronounce that either. She's not after him. Oh, okay, cool. It's not a partner she wants. Okay, that's cool. Uh, when he shows his perverted side, pretty shocking... Hold up. What? Oh. Um... She she's the only girl that actually rebukes uh, Issei when he shows his perverted side. Pretty shocking for a harem anime. Kaneko is a Nekomata cat person taken in by Lucifer after his parents are killed. And her sister is on the run. I love this art style as well. It was, uh, it was done by the artist Sia. I hope uh, to bring more of Sia's work soon. The button is Mimosa from Black Clover. A lovely and polite girl, Mimosa is notably in is notably in Black Clover. Nobility in Black Clover, sorry. This anime is centered around Asta, an orphan with magical abilities. <sighs> Gosh. Um, this stinks for Asta, as everyone is uh, has something magical about them. Mimosa... Is basically saves Asta's life by healing him after he is gravely wounded in a dungeon. An adventure fantasy anime, Black Clover, is an otaku favorite. Coming up next month, uh, Blake Belladonna from Ruby or Erina Nakiri from Food Wars. I voted for the Blake Belladonna. Really? Mm -hmm. I kind of dig the Food Wars one better. I just, this is the only character I knew was Blake. Mm. Well, I've I've watched some of Food Wars, so. So I'm gonna guess these right here was our extra stuff. The time I got reincarnated as slime and chopsticks. Yes. Which is two things that I would honestly and these really accept. this is the VIP little sticker. Yes, I like that. Yeah. Felt like I knew the character. Also, as yeah. I said, I would. Yes. Nice. All right. So we have tapics. We have tapics. We have tap. You know what? By the way, can I just go over the bit that we did? I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't do anything. Let me just uh, throw this away. Yeah, go ahead and get that down here. There you 
There you go. You hit my cable, you asshole. I'm not an asshole. Are you trying to sit her on top of Kirby? I didn't know Kirby was there. <laughs> there we go. Now you can see him. There we go. Hey, we speaking asked. of Kirby, oh, you can't see him. You just see the tag. Yeah. We used to have more. You could see him in view. That was like a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> Kirby was in view. All right. So first thing, we're Here, gonna get into some technological well. stuff. To what now? We're gonna get into some technological stuff today, which okay. is something we don't normally touch on. We don't. We're not a tech podcast. As much as I love technology, this man doesn't know much about it. I really don't. Um, just to give. I just know when something's good. Yes. Like, uh, you just got Pixel Buds. Yes, I did. Um, and your general consensus say, of them yeah. are pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, I had gotten Pixel Buds from a family member, who I'm not going to describe because privacy reasons. Um, but they had mainly got them as a gift because I'm also getting a new phone from them. And um, they wanted to see how they worked because of how... Uh, they have, apparently, uh, Google Translate built in as well, and, um, you are able to have a live translation of people in other languages. Um, I don't know, she just found that really cool. So, she had bought those, and, uh, I love them. They're really good Bluetooth headphones, sound quality is great. The base could be a little better, but obviously with my new phone not being here yet, I can't change the base settings or anything like that. But, I mean, yeah, I like them. Pretty nice. But, um, but along with all that uh, stuff, so you got Google Pixel Buds, and I just yep. got um, a new Chromecast with Google TV built into it. Yes. Which is actually the remote right here. So, um, for those of you who don't know, um, Google is replacing Android TV with Google TV. Mm -hmm. um, and that's their goal with everything. Um, they're replacing Google Play Muse or Google Play Movie with Google TV. Yeah. Um, and they've given this lovely remote as the way of doing it because we've all been waiting for us to get an Android TV built-in Chromecast. Yes. Um, and we got it with the Google TV. Now, I'm going to be dead honest with you about this thing. First of all, the ability to reprogram the YouTube button to whichever YouTube app you want to use, whether it's YouTube Music, YouTube TV, or YouTube Regular. Great. Mm -hmm. The Netflix button is not reprogrammable by default. You have to install a third-party app in, to do, in order to do it. I did so because I don't use Netflix. I made it to where whenever I hit the button, I use Verve. Secondly, this remote is not as comfortable as a lot of remotes. I'm going to let you hold it real quick while I talk about some things. <laughs> it feels like a Roku TV. Uh-huh. Unlike my original Google TV, or my Android TV... Which is the NVIDIA Shield 2017. Yeah, that's not really that comfortable. Which is a thin remote. Feels like an Apple TV or Fire Stick yeah. remote. Um, real nice. Um, I don't like the volume slider. That I will say that. Yeah. Um, I, I do find like, for me that my hand will hit that a lot. And it would just turn down or up the volume. Um, on but having dedicated assistant button. Yeah. Home, back, circle. All you need. On this one, I do like the fact that we gain the back. We do have the back and home button. Yep. We have a dedicated Google Assistant button, which is now done by holding it down and can actually do stuff even if the Google Assistant doesn't have the TV on. Hmm. For example, turn off the light. Yay, it's dark. Turn on the light. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just as an example. Um, but it also has controls for the TV. Which is something this advertised but never did. Yeah. I've got power, input, and volume buttons. Which is something that I will say, good good position of it. Yeah. I didn't understand what they were doing. The circle pad of it could use some work. I would like a smaller circle with a yeah. bigger button. Um, obviously. And all in all, the main thing about it that I don't like is the fact that the interface does not include... Verve and Pluto TV mainly. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't set it to be like, oh, I want to use Verve as the feed for this. Mm -hmm. Or any of that. I am stuck with having Hulu and Netflix as my main feeds in. Two services I never use. Yeah. Ever. I don't even have accounts for them. I'll say this. I'm glad you don't. Um, that's something that is kind of a side tangent for me. What the f Netflix? Oh, are we going to talk about the kid thing? I mean, if you want to. Netflix put on a movie on their thing and advertised the crap out of it. That was basically just advertising for sexualizing of children, and it was gross as Yeah, fun. it was uh, teaching, like, 11, 12-year-old girls how to 
dance on a stripper pole. It was gross. And wear skimpy clothes. It was gross. Very. Yeah, it was gross. We all, I think, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in America canceled their Netflix accounts that day. Yep. I know I did. I didn't have one in the first place. Yeah, well, um, my aunt and uncle did, so. Yeah, I didn't have one. Yeah. Unfortunately, due to that magnet strip, I can't stick this on here. Oh, no. I cry every time. Can I have it? No, fuck no. Oh. <laughs> I have more phones than one. That's fair. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, so I will say that the interface uh, could use some work. Um, the Google TV, occasionally, whenever you hit the home button, it's just mm -hmm. a gray screen, and you have to hit the home button again in order to get the actual launcher. Yeah. And you can experience most of the, what that TV has on the NVIDIA Shield. There's an app you can install to do that. Mm -hmm. But the interface on the NVIDIA Shield is definitely, while older, um, it's definitely more, it's less intuitive than even, like, the Roku TV. Yeah. It's simple. Mm -hmm. I don't require to know everything in order to use it. I can just pop it on and go over and use it. Yeah. It's also extremely powerful. I can stream my computer to there. Yes. I can play any game I want on my computer on that TV, including games like Genshin Impact, or so I can eat my emergency food while I play my game. Okay, that's also another topic. What is? What do you mean emergency food? So, there's a lovely meme in the game that is going insanely rampant. So, whenever you start off the game... You get a character known as Paimon, which is the little... I'm sure you've seen it, the little white yeah, yeah, girl, yeah. the small one that floats beside you. Yeah. Um, and we'll talk more about Genshin Impact itself in mm -hmm. a second. But um, uh, there's an option in the game where someone's like, oh, who's this? And they're pointing at Paimon. The response you can give to it is, oh, it's just some fairy, or, oh, it's emergency food. <laughs> <laughs> and you ans I answered, she's emergency food. And she went, hey! Later on in the game, you get a quest. Oh, who's this thing? Okay, or what is this thing? Is it edible? Your answer is, dig in. <laughs> and Paimon gets really ticked off and goes, Paimon is not emergency food. <laughs> like, funny. yes, you are. That is now so you funny. Are. But I like the fact that in the game that it's like, oh, Paimon's not emergency food. But yet, you are. It's so funny. But, I, I mean, I wanted to talk about Genshin Impact as well because of the fact that Genshin Impact has been a game that took kind of the internet by storm. Yeah. Because um, it used to be an infamous game. It was like a game that everyone was like, oh, this is going to suck. This, this is horrible. I can't believe Sony would do this. I can't believe Sony would allow this. Because it looked like a Breath of the Wild clone. Yeah. Whenever it was announced, people were breaking their PS4s in the middle of Sony's E3 conference. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to me, I don't find a problem with it, even though I'm a huge Breath of the Wild fan. I don't find a problem with it. I mean, if you can make money off of a game, go for it. As long as you're not directly ripping off the game. And the I game mean... felt more like, um, there's a game I used to play called Kurt Spell. Mm -hmm. um, it felt like if you gave Kurt Spell an open world. Yeah. That was my one issue with Kurt Spell was you're stuck. You have a re It's an arena fighter. In this one, you get an open world where you get to strategically work around and everything, and yeah. the fighting's really close to Kurt Spell. I find just by looks alone, I mean, it doesn't even, to me, it doesn't even really look like Breath of the Wild. It's an open world game with a sword fighter, and yeah. that's all that's it. To me, I, I feel like it looks a little more like, um, what was that game that you used to stream a lot? That was Kurt Spell. No, with, uh... Code Vein? Yeah, Code Vein. The art style to me looks kind of like Code Vein. Well, they're both anime. Yeah. Um, it's an anime art style game, and it's, re it's really fun. Um, you can play it on so many things now, the PS4, PC, you can play it on your phone. Yeah. It's coming to the Nintendo Switch soon, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I'm gonna play the crap out of that. Yeah, I'm going to join you on that, because, I mean, it, look, um, it looks pretty interesting. You get to level 16 on your adventures level, you and I can co-op. Nice. That'd be pretty fun. Um, yeah, we got off really off topic. Yeah. Um, bottom line about the, uh, Google TV, though, um, because of the price of it, mm -hmm. it's 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. The NVIDIA Shield for the 2020 or 2020 or 2019, I don't care which one it is, is 150 bucks. I would still get the NVIDIA Shield if you have an NVIDIA graphics card on your computer. Yes. If you are a gamer with an NVIDIA graphics card, get the Shield. If you are not a gamer or you're just an average user who doesn't care, you're just like looking at between the Roku TV, Fire Stick, and Google or Android TV, get the Chromecast. Because honestly, even with like all of my complaints about it. Mm -hmm. There's workarounds for it. Yeah. And the remote... I mean, having this where it can control my TV is pretty handy. This is supposed to have that. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, 
but having it to where I can control my TV is nice. Now, I do plan to get the 2020 remote for my shield so that I can try that out, yeah. see if that makes it to where this is obsolete. Um, but for now, I recommend either. Gamers, normies. Yeah. But another thing about Google that is unfortunate. Rest in peace, Google Play Music. Google Play Music is going away December of this year. And I wanted to go ahead and let everyone know about it because Google has bought broadcasting over to YouTube Music finally. You can now cast from YouTube Music if you're not paying for it. Um, which is something that we've been all looking forward to. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people have, like, I've actually got one unopened right here, have a lot of Nest Minis in their house. Um, and yeah, this is literally unopened. Wow. Nice. Um, but we've got a lot of Nest Minis in the house, and people like to use them to cast. Or even the Alexas can cast, too. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for activating anyone's Amazon's Echoes. Um, but, I mean, it's just... I don't understand Google's way of doing things, honestly. Mm -hmm. Because, let's make a product. Let's work really hard on this product. Let's advertise the shit out of this product. And let's kill it. They did it. Google Hangouts is being killed. Yeah. Um, they had an alternative to Gmail. It got killed. Mm -hmm. Um, I think of other stuff. You know what? We're going to really, really diss them real quick. Let's go to the Google graveyard. Oh, gosh, dude. We're going to really... I don't know if you've ever seen this. So we're going to start off... We're just going to go with the normal ones. Google Play Music mm -hmm. is being killed this month. Or not this month. Uh, two months from now. Yeah. Google Cloud Print is being killed at the end of this year. What? Allowing you to print to older printers, like that one right there, via Wi-Fi, is being killed. Dude. I use that, like, daily. Google Hangouts is being killed. By the end of this year. Google Photos Print, which allows you to automatically get your best photos sent to you from Google, is being killed at the end of this year. Google Chrome App fuck? Store is being killed. It was killed seven months ago. Why? Because they replaced it with the Play Store on the on the Chrome tabs. So weird. Okay. Um, Androidify, which has allowed people to make custom Android avatars of themselves. Dead. The, let's see here, Google Daydream, their VR stuff. Dead. Dead. Look at this. YouTube Messages, which was a direct messaging feature on Google YouTube. I yeah. know you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Dead. Dead. YouTube for Nintendo 3DS. Dead. Dead. I'm just going through here. Google, YouTube Gaming. You and I remember that one very fondly. Yeah, we both streamed on that. You and I both Dead. streamed on it. Dead. It was killed last year. Yeah. In, like, in, okay, the Google thing. Inbox by Google. Dead. That was their lovely service. They implemented all the features from that into, you, into uh, Gmail. Unlike with Google Play Music, they are not implementing YouTube into Google Play Music. They are taking Google Play Music and going, no. If you have a subscription on Google Play Music, it gets turned into a YouTube Music. Or if you had it whenever they gave you YouTube Premium for free, you keep that. I will go ahead and let you know that. Um, Google Plus. Dead. Last year. Got killed. Google's URL shortener. I used the crap out of that for stuff. Mm -hmm. Dead. Yeah, I remember you using the crap out of that. Video annotations from YouTube. Dead. There is no annotations anymore. We get those stupid boxes. Chromecast audio. This was something that was great. It allowed you to take any little it allowed you to take a little device and plug it into a bunch of speakers. And you would take that and you would make it into your own sound system using whatever speakers you liked and you could cast to it. Dead. Dead. Like we can go on and Google. on and on and on and on and on, uh, and on. Reply. Dead. Hold on. Google. When you make something and it's amazing and everyone loves it. Why the fuck do you kill it? Like, I understand some of this, they upgraded. Like, going from Google Play Music to YouTube Music. Personally, I prefer YouTube Music. 
a lot of people prefer to go play music, though. But that's just because you and I did not grow up with it. You and yeah. I did not care for it. Um, it wasn't what I used. Whenever yeah. I wanted to use music, I would either go to uh, YouTube Music or I would just find some random music player. For me, I go to Spotify and YouTube Music. See, and I've never used YouTube Music. I like playing with my belt. That's not. I'm not doing anything weird. Um, Google Hands Free. It allowed you to use. It was a mobile payment system that allowed users to play their pay their bills using Bluetooth. Dead. Why? NFC, Google Pay. That one at least makes sense. Yeah. We got a better service. Yeah, that's fair. The but Nexus I'm saying, like, why line, did they make that? The Google the Nexus line was my favorite phone line and one that I would have gladly gone with in this nowadays. Dead, Dead killed for the Pixel line, of which I have a Pixel 2 over there that both cameras died. Oof. Major. The Nexus Player. It was the predecessor to this thing. It was what was before this thing. It's what made me get this thing. We have a Nexus player in the room over there. Dead. Completely murdered the entire thing. It's really dumb. Google Now, which I don't even know if you remember this. It was a feature that allowed you to have pred predictive cards of information on your um, Google stuff. Yeah. Dead. Uh, did... See if there's any more of these that are stuff that we used. Um... No, we didn't use Google Pop Out. Google Play Edition devices. This was something that allowed you to have stock Android on any device. Yeah, I remember Means this. Means that um, Google, uh, the Galaxy S4, I believe, had a version of theirs that was running stock Android. Yeah. Dead. Dead. I would have loved to have a stock Android of, like, a Galaxy Note or something. Yeah, definitely. Can you imagine getting, like, being able to get, like, a OnePlus phone that actually just ran stock Android, not OnePlus' a skin of it? Yeah. Or can you imagine, well, granted, this is pretty close to stock Android, but can you imagine getting, like, a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with Google's Pixel camera type stuff in it? I would love that. Can you imagine getting all this Google stuff on any phone? Dead. <sighs> they revitalized this one. Originally killed Google TV, which was Android TV built into Google, t was built into televisions. Dead in 2014. It's they up brought there. it back right here. 2020, they revived that one. So they can bring that one off this list. Um, seeing if there's any more on here. I'm not going to even go into that one. Nexus Q. It was a digital media player that allowed users with Android devices to stream content from supported devices to connect. To a connected television or via speakers via television amplifier. It was about one year old. They let Nexus Q live for a year. Dead. Can I just say something? Yeah. Television. television. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? Let's move on to a lighter topic because right now I'm angry at Google. Yeah, Google, you keep murdering all of our stuff and I really, really dislike it. And if you kill Docs, I'm probably going to have to murder but I will say at least this. You and I get, did get, indeed get to go to a convention last yes. week. Yes! Or last week. No, was it last week? Week before. Week before, yeah. Week before that, we went, We did get to go to a convention, finally, um, with COVID. Finally, it's not lighting up as much as people think. It is going down, at least. The curve is going... It's about here. It was yeah. here. It's, it's going at more of a, uh, what would you say, like a 75 angle? I don't know. I'm and, of course, all conventions, I'm you're required guy. to wear masks. <gasps> yes. Um... I went in there, I wore my Jabril shirt the entire time. Yes, you did. Um, quite you enjoyed. also had your uh, NSFW towel. Yeah, actually, is it? I think so. It's right here. Yep, there it is. It's in the, uh, it's in the server if y'all guys yeah. want to see it. I don't, it's, yeah, you can technically count it as NSFW. It is this? Yeah. You know what, we showed that thing. Screw it, yeah. I'm still not showing it. Yeah. <laughs> Get screwed. Yeah, but um, I don't know, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, we, I cosplayed for the first time. You very did. Crappy, but it was cosplay nonetheless. And I plan to do one next. It was very rushed. Yeah. That, that's the whole I plan to do this, with it. this lovely guy right here. Yeah. His, his uh, human form. Yeah. But I plan to do, uh, yeah, Romero. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was uh, pretty nice. I mean, I. Uh, we went with my sister and her friend. Yes, we did. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah, we were going to. Because um, before it would be just you, me, and your sister. Yeah. However, um, her friend was over. Her friend and was over, and it would have it would have been rude yeah. if we had done that. And we were planning on recording a podcast, but we didn't realize that her friend was there. But you know, it was still fun. We had a lot of fun. Played a lot of Smash Brothers. Yeah, we did play a lot of Smash Brothers. Um, we went around the convention. There was a hoodie there that I really wanted. 
I missed it. And you ordered it. And now it's coming on AliExpress because they had the same hoodie on there. Okay, can we talk about the random dude who was running through playing a rubber chicken? Those were chicken? using the rubber chicken with the plague doctor <laughs> yeah. mask saying everybody going around holding the sign saying, Wear your mask! And he was doing like this weird dance. We saw a really cool Waluigi as well. But yeah, he did the cool wah. wah. We had to wah. wah. He somehow got away with not wearing a mask. Yeah, he didn't have to. Well, he had, a, uh, he had the, the thing in his mouth. Yeah, the rose. He had to wah. The wah. He had to wah. Wah. He, had, he did a really good wah. He did the really good wah. Oh, wah. <laughs> Took a picture of the wah. And his friends. And his friends. He the got, friends of the wah. He got the friends of the wah. He got Beetlejuice and he got the guy who played the rubber chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> but um, but also we were around and we did, of course, stop by Kitty in the Box. I got a couple more posters yeah, to feed my Yeah, which you addiction. found out that you actually had one of the posters that you'd gotten before as an agent. Yeah, and one of my passed up I did have as well, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I did also get a postcard from, uh, the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Yeah. Um, and two posters from that. And then, uh, I want to say there's a book I have to get now, um, called Mouse. Um, I'll probably post it on the Discord whenever yeah. I get it. Um, I've got to order it online because they're not sold in stores. Maybe yeah. the guy will be at the convention coming up. Possibly. Speaking of convention coming up, um, no, but, uh, before we talk about that, we saw a lot of really good cosplayers. To yeah. say that, like there are people that are phenomenal. You got to take a. You actually got a picture with a Kana cosplayer. I did get a picture of a Kana cosplayer. Uh, there was a Miku as well. Yes, there was a Miku. I did get take a picture of a Miku cosplayer. Um, um, basically, we recognize the character. We'll probably get a picture of it. Yeah. Um, we were trying to encourage your sister's friend to uh, take a get picture a with some FNAF characters. Yeah, there was a lot of them. Yeah. And there was also a guy flying a drone around. Yeah, there was, and there was the also car. a guy on like an RC car. Yeah. And, like, that thing was running for, like, an hour. It was insane. It was running forever. It ran the entire convention. He was charging it at one point. Oh, was he? Yeah. Okay, I didn't even see that. Yeah, about halfway through he was charging it. Still, that lasted a good while, because he yeah. was using it almost the entire time. Uh-huh. But, like, I'm trying to think of uh, everything we saw there, because it was, it was a lot. There was um, a lot. Oh, artist, 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 ah, my cards? my mic. I've been touching mine, like, half this time, yeah, because it keeps hitting my shoulder. I think these are the cards. Yeah, so there's one artist I wanted to shout out. Um, it's Kinda called Kind of Cute Creations. Um, they are on Facebook. I don't know what that A means. Huh? Uh, Facebook. F-A is Cast the Neko Lover. D-A is Purple... DeviantArt. Uh, purple something. R-A-I-N-G-I-R-L. Uh, his Twitter is Cuter Creations. Instagram is Kind of Cute Creations. And Etsy's is Kind of Cute Creations at Etsy.com. Or dot Etsy.com. Yep. Um, and they made some really cute art. Um, I would go grab... I have a Kana that I got from her that said uh, it's, it's, it's kind of wicked. Oh, yeah, the Kana bag. Yeah, it's actually where I put the mini dockies. Nice. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got mini dockies at the same place that the Romuru, uh hoodie was at. And I didn't yeah. pick it up. We procrastinated, and then when we got a Defender Advancer, it was gone. Yeah, whenever we were finally like, you know what, let's just go get it. It was gone. <laughs> but then we got it cheaper on AliExpress. Yeah. Same hoodie for cheaper. Yeah. It was the exact same one. Same yeah. company and everything. It's great. But yeah, and then we also had uh, Bare Butt Comics, uh, Mako Studio, and uh, Creepful. I realized, oh, those are the ones that had the weird eyes. Oh, that's right. They had like the um, what yeah, it's were, what were those? What were those things called? Those like plushies you would get at like gas stations with the big eyes. Uh, the beanie, the, the beanie, beanie boos. Ba yeah, uh, beanie babies or beanie the beanie boos? babies are the little ones. The beanie boos are the ones with the big eyes. Yeah, um, dude, <laughs> they, they, their art style was pretty much that. Yeah. But on LSD. It was pretty good. Um. So uh, on to the next. So the next Comic Con we're going to which explain is, that a little bit. So we're going to. Uh, I think it's uh, Lexington MassCon. On uh, it's supposed to be on October seventeenth. Mm -hmm. um, so exactly a week from now. Exactly a week from the time of recording this podcast. Mm -hmm. As long as I get it out on time. Um, if you guys happen to see us, I doubt anyone who is listening to this would see us. But if you happen to see us, uh, my uncle. Yeah, feel free to <laughs> feel free to stop on by. We're we're always lovely people. Yay! Um, but if you're showing up, wear your mask. Yes. Um, it's fifteen dollars per car. Yeah, we're uh, doing it per car now, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to kind of concern how that's going to work. 
Yeah. Um, should be interesting. We will find lot. out. Um, mailman's here. I can hear him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have no idea. Um, the only person who I know is going to be there is Kind of Cute Creations. They're mm -hmm. going to be there again. Um, so if you guys want to see them, they'll be at the Comic Con. Yay! In and Lexington, North Carolina. Yeah. Not not in Kentucky. Oh yeah, there is one in Kentucky. Now we're going to the one in Kentucky. Plus we're going to the one in Tennessee in December. Oh, there's one in Tennessee? Uh, that's where uh, Galacticon is, I believe. Hmm. It's where uh, Kitty in the Box and Paprika will be in Tennessee. Hmm. So it's it's a little tempting. How far of a drive would that be? That's a good question. But yeah. Um, you keep, you <laughs> keep the podcast a, busy real th quick. There's a funny story. Whenever I... Because um, I went out to Lexington for some family stuff. And um, when we were getting back, I was like, huh, how far away is a drive from Lexington? Because I was just curious. And uh, I look it up, and it and it shows Lexington, Kentucky. And it's like a... It is insanely far away, like a drive. And I was like, that's not how long that is. And then I see that it's in Kentucky. I'm like, ew. No. And that's how I figured out it was Lexington in Kentucky. All right, so you want to hear good news or bad news? Uh, medium. All right, so the bad news is that there is not a convention anymore in December. Okay. Um, the convention was called Yamacon. And uh, they postponed it originally from December uh, 9th and 10th to December 11th and 13th. And then just decided to uh, move it to 2021. Mm -hmm. um, What's the good news? The good news is I figured out the name is Yamakon. Wow. Um, yeah, everything was up for change on that. So you and I will not be seeing Paprika this year at all. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we will... Hopefully uh, we can pop into a Twitch with them at some point. You and I should hop in like tonight or something. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and I guess since we talked a little bit of technology type stuff, um, we can go ahead and talk about this. Uh, just because I feel like it, and I feel like being a douche about it. But first of all, I wanted to say uh, you're getting a Pixel. Yes, I believe it's the 4A. I Which is the only one that makes sense to get nowadays. Yeah. Um, you get the I'm five, excited. you little special. Yeah, because you'd you'd be better off getting phone. the new Samsung phone. No, I'd still get the I'd get the five over the Samsung. I don't like Samsung's OS. I don't know. I'm I um I'm, I'm a little indifferent about. it. I haven't looked into many reviews. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm getting it by the end of the month, and uh, that's the whole reason why they got the Pixel Buds. Um, was for that. Um. Both were supposed to be there on my birthday, but we know how that worked out. Yeah. So, yay, I got drones instead. I thought you said drugs. I got that, too. A lot of that. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Don't arrest me, please. But, um, I do want to mention also that uh, I have swapped off using Android Wear for a while. I don't know if you've noticed that. My original Tick Watch Pro... Um, the battery on it started getting real low, so it only lasted about a day at most if I tried hard enough. Yeah. And it started slowing down a lot, which is a lot of issues with a lot of Android Wear OS watches, especially the Tick Watch Pro, whatever it was, had half a gig of RAM. Yeah. All Tick, all Android Wear should have a gig. They came out with a Tick Watch Pro, um, 3 now. Hmm. And so, uh, actually coming up, I will probably be trying to get that little lovely thing. Yeah. Um... I just wanted to mention that real quick. I've been switch. I switched back to a Pebble, um, specifically because it's what I know. I don't wear watches. You should. I was thinking about it. You should. Just try a Pebble. Yeah. I would really go for the Tick Watch though. Mm -hmm. Like that Tick Watch Three, is really smooth. Makes Wear OS actually seem proper. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know what to talk about. How you been? We haven't said that the whole time. I just realized that. No, how you been? Um, I mean, it's really, eh. Eh. Um, the last week I went without my antidepressants, which was kind of bad. He, he's I was uh, I was in a very dark time for a minute. Um, but I mean, I got them, so I'm fine now. Very tired. 
I haven't had, I, I haven't really had caffeine at all. You still have caffeine and it doesn't. The only caffeine I've had is like, ironically enough, the on Friday at a monster. <laughs> Just because I felt like it. Because that's a good way to get low on caffeine. And then spike it. Yes. It's the equivalent of... There is something else we can talk about. Minecraft Steve was announced for Super Smash yes! Brothers. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't talked about that yet. No, I forgot. I completely forgot about putting it on the topic list. Oh Minecraft gosh, Steve dude. is coming to Smash. It's insane. I can... It's so weird looking to me. He does not fit in with the graphic art style at all. He does not. The way they announced it, I'm going to tell you, listen to some people's reactions to it. There was people who were like... I mean, really itchy. Um, there were people who were like... Um, it's, there's no way in heck they're going to be, or who is it going to be, because they started off with a fight scene. One guy freaked out because it was a fight scene between all the original characters, and like, oh my gosh, it's Crash Bandicoot! It's like, no, it's not. They're not putting Crash Bandicoot. Crash will, I will guarantee you that Crash Bandicoot will never be inside of, um, Smash Brothers. Yeah. Because it's a Sony-owned property, and Sony and Nintendo don't get along real well. Yeah, no. Sony and Nintendo, for those of you who don't know, uh, the PlayStation originally came about as a uh, added at addition to what was it the NES Super Nintendo Super Nintendo because um, it actually the PlayStation then, was its own console yeah but then um, Nintendo had cut ties and they still had all that work put in so they decided hey let's make a PlayStation as our own console yeah and they made a lot of money off of that and, and still do yeah even though the new one looks like a router I like the new one. I'm not getting it. No, I, I, I'm not. I don't. Think I will get a second anything. Switch before I get any of the new consoles. You were already talking about getting a second Switch anyway. I am going to probably get a second Switch. We're not going to talk about that until it happens. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I'm actually hoping to. If we don't get anything at the con next week, we'll do it then. Yeah. Which is unlikely. Yeah. Knowing you. Uh. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Come from the guy who spent almost. Like almost forty dollars, fifty dollars on, uh, on a convention. On what? On a convention. Yeah, that's actually pretty low. For Last most week's convention, actually, you spent that much. The convention before, you spent what? Almost sixty. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> You're realizing this now. Think about it this way. It would have been 80 if I had gotten that hoodie. Jesus Christ. That hoodie was $39. He's not wrong. You would have spent way too much money on him. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Steven Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> His fighting style relies on crafting and digging up of ores, which is interesting. Yeah, which means, um... He's, gonna, gonna, be, he's gonna be like You're a, very Omar. vulnerable, honestly. He's gonna be like Olimar, now that I think about it. Yeah, honestly, he will be. Because uh, it requires a harvesting of resources, and then he has to take a chance to craft it. Yeah. Um, you can move the crafting table, which is something that people were worried about. Um, they did kind of base it out. He's got a spike that's a little overpowered. Yeah, a little is a, a little of an understatement. And the fact that you can build off the stage that's to block somebody powered. from getting up, that's a little bit of a pain in the arse. Um, I don't know, I feel like... Byleth is still going to be one of the best characters, though. Byleth is only good if you could play her right. So I think his hero. Yeah. I feel like we have friend in our server who's really good at it. Um, and uh, then you're pretty decent at Byleth. Yeah, and Byleth's my girl. Yeah. Um, Byleth and Corn for you. Yeah. For me, Even it's I've never like, played a Fire Emblem game that I enjoyed except for the one on the phone. Yeah, for me, it's um, like who I play is... Uh, it's between about, I, I want to say, like, three characters. It goes Shulk, Ganon, and right now I'm actually playing a lot of Inkling. It's actually a good one to go with. Yeah. We do a lot of Smash Brothers. We do. We play a lot of Smash. We'll probably stream it at some point. I'd be, I'd be down. I'd be down. Not today. We got a little bit to do. Yeah. We're you guys up can't really see it. Yeah, we make sure that but, you can't uh, see it. Yeah. Head pat. Just head pat the Kaneko. Head pat the Kaneko. I like the Kaneko. Hang up right below Jabril. Very nice Kaneko. You guys will never see that. 
Never. Never. You almost, they almost did it in the crack video. Yeah, for real. In the tryhards on crack video, it was this close to having it in there. Yeah. You moved your mic out. Yes, I did. You asked. Because I hit it. That means that it was probably going to be off. I hit it, like, really hard, so. Good I also noticed I was peeking really badly before I moved it. It's going to so. be off. I'm going to have to hit you now because the audio is going to be off and I'm going to have to fix it. Mm. By that, I mean do absolutely nothing to it like normal. <laughs> That's funny. I want to get to where we can record twice. Yeah. Like one for Mike. So I can set it up properly. Yeah. I don't really know if we have anything else to talk about, so I'll take that. No! <laughs> hey, Google. Roll a D17. It's four. Four! Whoa! Viagra! Aye. Where is that at? Uh, page 65. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, jeez, this isn't long at all. That's what she said. Okay. It's Viagra. It's supposed to be long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I think it's... Hold on. What? I'm gonna take a nap. I was gonna say... A... <laughs> Because I'm taking too long. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's only like two jokes. What? Yeah. Like three, four jokes. Or just one long one. What's on the next page? The next page, I believe it goes straight to gay jokes. Oh, yeah, no, it just goes this page and then gay. Alright, so that's four jokes of Viagra. Yeah, four jokes. Alright, one through four. That one, the one looked pretty long, so let's go with number one. Um, numero uno. The boss of a company called a staff meeting in the middle of a particularly stressful week. When everyone gathered, the employer, who understood the benefits of having fun, told the blunt out, burnt out staff, sorry, burnt out staff that the purpose of of the meeting was. To, <laughs> I saw you pull out the phone. I was expecting a quote. Uh, that the benefits of the Hold on. The purpose of the meeting was to have a quick contest. Whose theme of whose whose theme was Viagra advertising slogans. Dividing into groups, the only rule was that they had to use past ad slogans that captured the essence of Viagra. About seven minutes later, they turned up their suggestions <laughs> suggestions and made a top ten list. Number ten, Viagra. It's was <laughs> Number nine, Viagra, Wicker Pecker Upper. Viagra, like a rock. Viagra, when it absolutely positively has to be there tonight. Viagra, be all that you can be. <laughs> Viagra, reach out and touch someone. <laughs> Viagra, strong enough for a woman but made for a man. <laughs> Viagra, tastes great, more filling. Viagra, brings good things to life. And the unanimous number one slogan. This is your penis. This is your penis on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> A wife says to her husband, Are you hungry for breakfast? He replies, No, it must be the Viagra. That was good. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, that was a part of the second joke. That last bit. The, uh, Are you hungry for breakfast? No, it must be the Viagra. Screw it. That works. Alright, so, everyone, join the Discord. Please do. Uh, follow us on Twitter, mm -hmm. at PokemonRocks9, at Genie, XL underscore Genie. Uh, I think I changed it to Genie Bravo. Um, and then we also have a behind-the-scenes Instagram now that yeah. Gene just made. Yeah, the Tryhards BTS. Or, yeah, Tryhards BTS. Um... Pretty nicely, Chelsea. Yeah, we will put. We will have all that stuff on uh, there. He's oh yeah, it is still exile underscore genie. Okay, uh, X Y L E underscore G E A N Y. I like how you zoomed in on my face for that. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, go follow us on the new Instagram. Um, my Instagram is uh, was what was it? Andrew ten one zero six. 
I don't even know what your Instagram is, if I'm being 110% yeah. honest with it's you. It's Andrew10106. I'm pretty sure that it's actually something more like uh, Chicken Finger 23. <laughs> it's Andrew1006. Yeah. Um, and then I guess uh, if you hop in the Discord, um, remember to leave in any questions you have. Any suggested topics. Yeah. Praise of the Kaneka. Yeah, praise of the Kaneka. My phone's going off. Um, YouTube is Genie Rovo. YouTube is Pokey Plays. Plays. Twitch is... Pokemon Arcside or Pokemon Arcside? Pokemon Arcside. Yeah. And I don't stream on Twitch. Alright. Well, thanks so much for watching. Thank you guys. Also, before we leave, let's just give a round of applause to all our shoutouts. Thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring us once again. If you want to get started on your podcast, go to anchor.fm and get started there. Uh, go ahead and check out Knockpods. Uh, we have an affiliate link right below there. Mm -hmm. um, they are noise can or not noise canceling. Um, the white ones are noise canceling of the White Pods Pro, mm -hmm. um, but they are really nice, high quality knockoff AirPods made or not made in the U.S. but sold in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, I guess go ahead and check out our affiliate link for the lovely Otaku box. Yes. Um, Sensation affiliate link. Um, I don't even know if that's an affiliate link, but Sensation, if you have anxiety issues, um, it can help out. Um, Paprika Studios and Essinger, go check them out. Essinger's, Essinger's new song Wednesday. next Wednesday. Tenebrous. It's actually a, he had a giveaway that he's doing as well. Um, I entered that. I'm hoping to nice. uh, get a hold of that. It's a nice poster. Nice. So if we go in that, it'll be up right here, right where the Oh, right where the right I was thinking we're gonna put it with the Lost Boys. Well, I'm not gonna leave Kaneko up right here. She's going on the wall. Yeah, but I'm, I was I was thinking it was gonna be with the Lost Boys. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We could put it like right above. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually also pretty big, so we may end up having to like hang it up like right here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right, right there where right we here. can't see. He's currently smacking the handles. Anyone closet. else we forgot? I don't think so. Knock pods. Everything else. We are not prepared for this. No, we're not. All right. Well, thank Thanks you guys so, much for, so much for watching or listening or whatever the fuck you do. Um, um, if you want to support us, listen to the audio podcast. Well, you can find those on Spotify, Anchor, Spotify, Anchor, Google Play Music. Excuse me. YouTube Music. Google Podcasts. Thanks for splitting it. That'll be dead in a year too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus. Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher. And if you manage to find us on Podbean, that account's dead. Yeah. We don't post there anymore. Thanks for Podbean. watching. Podbean. <laughs> yeah. I'm Pokey Police. I'm Jimmy Burwell. Signing off. Dose. Peace.